Hello there everybody, this is Film at Corner, Corner of Film at Corner of Fun, and today I'm talking to you about something I've been working on. So as you can see, that's, well, you may be able to see that, that says iFurry, and if you remember, there's, well, if you've watched any of the previous videos, you may know what I'm looking at right now, and that is for those that don't know is I'm looking at a extruder plate now originally I remixed the extruder plate from having D4 on it to i3 but now I have remixed it again so if I zoom out there we go okay so this is following the same the same uh, abilities that the original had in that you stick a PTFE tube in there and you can print flexible filaments but I've added on to this with that right there I know it, I can see the cameras picking it up in between the drive gear and the actual plate you can see it right there you, you can see there's material there and that's because that is hairs to clean the drive gear so the idea is as the drive gear is turning counterclockwise to feed filament in, it's going to be brushing these hairs up, but every time it retracts, it's going to brush those hairs down and they are going to interact with the drive gear and its teeth. So, the idea here is that it's going to clean those teeth out so we don't have to. So not only is it for flexible filament, but the idea is it will also help help keep this drive gear clean. Now I am using the stock drive gear, so I haven't upgraded to a different drive gear. But the way this prints out, let me see here. Okay, so the way this prints out is you print it out flat like that, and you can see the hairs take up a majority of the opening. Now, what I've done here is very similar to how the hairy lion works. So we've got a wall here, and we've got the wall here, and we've just bridged a bunch of hairs. Try to keep it in frame. Now, much like the Harry Lion, this is optimized for a 0.2 layer height and a 0.4 nozzle. So you can see the hairs, and that's a sacrificial wall, and it's got a sacrificial bottom on it as well. The idea is you print this flat on your plate you then take and you cut these hairs off of this wall. Now, this bottom also helps if you are wanting to print with supports in here. As you can see, I did not, and it's got a little bit of string that I'll have that would have to be cleaned up. But if you're using auto-generated supports, you wouldn't need that, and you can just do. Um, you don't have to do all everywhere you can just do from the build plate and it won't mess with the hairs because of this bottom so you can do supports if you want to and so after you've cut off this wall you then cut these hairs to the size that you need and so the idea is that if you have a different gear well, as long as it fits within this opening, you could cut 
the hairs to fit it. Now, it's not always solid, you know. I've noticed it on this print, well, well, not on the other print, a few of these hairs haven't exactly attached to that wall, but they did in the other print. So there's always that option of, hap of that happening where it's just moving too quickly and just whisk whisks them back. But as you can see, they're pretty stiff and they are pretty attached. So, after you've cut them and you've fitted it, as you can see, You can hear them scrubbing up against this gear. Now it's plastic and the gear should be pretty fine considering. Now I wish that I could actually have this turning and show you that, but that would mean having to move my printer and I'm not going to do that, but hopefully you can hear this motor scrub them. So yeah, this has been um, a quick look and talk about my attempts at a self-cleaning extruder plate that also supports flexible filaments and you know it's, it says it says i free on it because I mean we're using i free machines we're not using d4s so with that said I will show off a print that I've done with it I've done two hairy lines and this is the first one I did and he's just white PLA and I mean, he looks really nice, and I was using that extruder plate whenever I made him. The second one, I was using the Micro Swiss plate, which I have also recently done a review on. So, both that video and this video should be up pretty soon from recording. But yeah, it's just the fault of adding in a little bit extra for your needs or wants because if that gear gets clogged you're going to have to either a find a brush or something that you can clean it while you rotate the gear or b you're going to, have to take off the extruder plate and clean it that way so hopefully this will help reduce your need to clean the extruder gear so you can keep going without any problems especially if you're printing flexible filaments having anything in those gears within those gear teeth will help hinder your abilities to print it so that's why the flexion has a brush but if you just want to print a part for your stock direct drive Hopefully this will do the trick for you. So, with that said, I hope that you enjoy this, and if you do enjoy this kind of stuff, then you might consider subscribing or giving a like, and if you want to help actually support this kind of stuff, because this does take time to test and go back in, change some things, you can consider donating a dollar on Patreon. I like to post updates about this kind of stuff, about if I have an idea and if it's working. I like posting status updates on Patreon. I've been posting them where everybody can see them. But yeah, I like posting updates there on stuff I'm working on. And I will be working on more stuff. So, thanks for watching, and I hope this helps you out. Uh -huh.